Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Arrow Season 6. Now, just uh, quickly to mention, if you can hear some like wind in the background and like some, you know, some slight banging, I guess, I can't really control it. There's like a windstorm or like, it's like a tornado outside. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's really strange. It never happens, but... Yeah, so if you can hear some stuff in the background, that's what's going on. So in, I'm pretty sure, at least the next few hours from when this video will go live, we will have the kicking off or commencement of San Diego Comic-Con for 2017 with its preview night, which has things like some pilot screenings and special exclusive video presentation from some shows. One of which is actually Black Lightning, which is, of course, the new, like, CW DC TV show. Not necessarily confirmed for the Arrowverse yet, but I think eventually it will join. So it will be interesting to see whether we get anything from that, uh, like hit the web, whether it's be, whether it be they show the pilot, that could be their surprise, like, oh, here's the pilot for Black Lightning, or it could just be like a, a more extended trailer, or like maybe they get the first 20 minutes of the first episode, who knows. But if anything decent does drop involving Black Lightning from that preview night, then I will try and do a video on it as soon as possible. But what we are going to be going over in this video is stuff that actually doesn't go down until Saturday in America, and that is some DC TV panels. Now, all of DC TV, well, CW, DC TV, might I say, have their panels on Saturday back to back. This starts with Supergirl and ends with Arrow. In this video, we will be mainly going over Arrow and everything to do with what they will be doing during Comic-Con this year. But I will also quickly go over Legends of Tomorrow as well after that. But, you know, just not as in-depth as I will be with uh, Arrow. I did do a video yesterday doing the same thing with mainly Flash, but also Supergirl and Black Lightning as well. So if you want to know the details on those, I will leave that video linked in the description down below for you to go and watch after this. The Arrow Season 6 panel will commence at 5.50pm and go until 6.30pm. This is the local time, which is of course in San Diego on the Saturday. If you are in Australia, well, Eastern Australia to be precise like me, the panel will run from 10.50 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. So, of course, time zones, Australia is a bit ahead. So, it's Sunday morning, 10.50 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And if you are in England, the panel will run from 1.50 a.m. until 2.30 a.m. once again on Sunday morning for England. So... Yeah, if you're in England, enjoy that uh, late night or early wake up, whichever it is. In regards to what to expect from the actual panel for Arrow, it will be very similar to however the Flash panel runs, which will be the showing of the first trailer for Season 6, which I will go over soon. And then they should go over some information and possibly news for the upcoming season. This could include some casting news or possibly even the reveal for who the villain is, which would be pretty damn sweet. Then there will also be a Q&A session, which is like the norm with these TV show panels, and hopefully we get some decent questions. I know we're bound to get one or two Olicity questions, but there's not much we can really do about that now, is there? They did release like a little preview thing a while back when they first started announcing Comic-Con information and dates, and this is what the Arrow Season 6 preview thing had to say. With the future of the team left hanging in the balance, Arrow gave new definition to the phrase, blowing up the show. The emotional showdown between Oliver Queen and Adrian Chase was the perfect conclusion to a stellar fifth season of the CW's gritty DC superhero series. Now the focus shifts to uncovering the fate of each and every member of Team Arrow. Could anyone have possibly survived an island-wide explosion? Or has the book closed on them as it has Oliver's five-year flashback story? This little preview thing for the panel also came with a cast list for those who would be present at the panel. Now this is subject to change, that's very important to remember as one or more of these guys or girls could get sick or have something more urgent come up. But at this stage, the Arrow cast that will be attending the panel are... Stephen Amell, who plays Oliver Queen slash the Green Arrow, David Ramsey, who plays Diggle, Willa Holland, who plays Thea, Emily Bett Ricards, who plays Felicity Smoke, Paul Blackthorne, who plays Quentin Lance, Katie Cassidy, who plays uh, Laurel Lance or Black Siren or just Laurel Lance in the multiverse, I guess, Echo Kellum, who plays Curtis Holt or Mr. Terrific, Juliana Hakavi, I have trouble pronouncing her name, that last name especially, who plays Dinah Drake. And then finally, Rick Gonzalez, who plays Wild Dog or Rene Ramirez. And of course, the showrunners will be there as well. It's usually Mark Guggenheim and Wendy Miracle, but they might have someone like Andrew Kreisberg might be sitting there with all the panels or maybe Greg Belanti, who knows. Now, the big, big thing that I need to stress, and I have seen this in one previous video, but it was like just a video I just randomly mentioned it. 
And a lot of people still might not have watched that video and you have known what I've said. Just because these people are on the panel, it doesn't mean they survive. We, the real only characters we know have survived are uh, Oliver Queen, uh, Dinah Drake, uh, Black Siren, and Rene Ramirez or Wild Dog. They're the only ones who have signed contracts for the rest of season six. And even Dinah Drake and Black Siren were seen filming a scene for Arrow season six in the present day off the island. So they survived. So essentially, like Felicity could die. Diggle could die. Thea could die. Quentin Lance could die. Mr. Terrific could die. They're all on the chopping block. But then you might ask, well, why would they have them on the panel? And it's basically to put you in a false sense of security. And there's, an, there's a perfect example of this actually with Arrow. At the season three panel for Arrow, guess who was actually on the panel? Katie Lotz. She was there. But what happens in season three, episode one of Arrow? She gets shot with an arrow, multiple arrows, I think. It's three arrows, I think. She gets shot into her chest, falls off a building and dies. She's dead. She's dead the whole season. So that's a massively important thing to remember. Katie Lotz was on the panel. She was talking it up as if she was a main character for the rest of the season. And then boom, end of episode one, she's dead. And from what is being said about Arrow Season 6 Episode 1, we will find out who dies in Episode 1 most likely. From what's being said, I would be very surprised if that happens because it seems a bit rushed, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But yeah, I just wanted to stress, just because they're on the panel, it doesn't mean they survive. The only, As I said, the only ones we know will survive are Oliver Queen because, duh, he's the main character. And then Black Siren and Dinah Drake were actually seen filming a scene for Arrow Season 6 Episode 1 off the island. And I did say that Wild Dog will most likely survive because he signed a season regular contract for Season 6, so it'd be weird if he died in the first episode. Now let's get on to what I'm expecting from the trailer, and honestly I'm not expecting a lot, just because the whole thing going into Episode 1, and they know it, is us wanting to know, you know, who sort of died on that explosion on Lian Yu, so they really can't give away too much. Apart from, I think, you know, saying that Dinah Drake and Black Siren is alive, I think they might so, uh, show a scene of that. I would not be surprised if that happens. And I do think they're going to show Oliver just like sort of, you know, a bit stressed out from what's happened and dealing with the fallout. That's actually the episode title for episode one, Fallout. So he's just dealing with the fallout from what happened at the end of season five. But yeah, I'm not expecting a trailer like we got for Arrow Season 5, if you remember the Comic-Con trailer for that one, because they included footage from Episode 1 and 2, because they really needed to hype up that season. But I think a lot of us don't really want to know too much going into next season. Like, we don't want to have a spoiled who survives in that trailer. So I think they just got to really play it safe, maybe show what's going on in Star City at the beginning of Season 6, but without revealing who survived, if you know what I mean. But let me know what you're expecting from the trailer and what's the one thing you would definitely want to see. I, I, I wonder if Oliver's going to have like a bit of a different suit. I know they'll, they'll probably show Dinah Drake's new suit like they already showed that uh, that promo picture, I guess, uh, a couple of days ago. But yeah, just let me know what you want to see in the trailer in the comment section down below. Now, we will quickly just go over Legends of Tomorrow. That's on, once again, the same day. It's all the DC TV shows are back-to-back. -back. So, it's on Saturday, San Diego time from 4.10 p.m. to 4.50 p.m. If you're in Australia like me or the eastern side of Australia, it's 9.10 a.m. to 9.50 a.m. Once again, on the Sunday morning. And in England, it's 12.10 a.m. to 12.50 a.m., once again, on very, very early Sunday morning. So you, you could probably stay up for that one, but it might be a bit of a struggle to get to the latest shows like Flash and Arrow. Now, in regards to the Legends of Tomorrow trailer that will show at Comic-Con, this is a pretty sticky situation because Legends did something very strange. They actually filmed episode two first. So the first day of filming, they went in for the new season. They were starting episode two. So yeah, they're actually filming episode one now. So it's very hard to predict what the trailer could contain. Um, but yeah, so they might just do a sort of like a, maybe a quick, like 30 second recap of what happened last season and then show us maybe like a minute of new footage just to sort of hype us up or maybe like a minute scene, who knows what they're going to do. But episode two is going to involve PT Barnum, who is like the greatest showman on earth. Like they're actually making a movie about him with Hugh Jackman and like Zendaya and Zac Efron and stuff. You might know that movie. They released like a trailer for it, like two weeks ago or something. So that's the same dude, but he's going to be on Legends of Tomorrow, played by Billy Zane. But you never know, they should get a decent amount of Episode 1 filming done, so they could quickly cram together a trailer of some Episode 1 stuff as well, but we'll have to wait and see. 
In regards to announcements and like information they could do with the Legends of Tomorrow panel, it would be pretty cool if they announced the villain. It was at this panel last year that they announced that the Legion of Doom would be the villains for season two of Legends. So they could either announce the villain or they could just announce some other characters coming in throughout the season, similar to like P.T. Barnum played by Billy Zane. They could announce like a couple of other heroes that will be uh, trotting their way along through time into Legends of Tomorrow season three. Now, if you didn't watch my video from yesterday, I did go over where you can like sort of keep track of what's going on at Comic-Con because unfortunately they don't live stream these panels and stuff online. So people film them, but they don't really go online for like another day after the panel is done. Sometimes they get them up quicker, but some take longer. So the Flash one might be up pretty quick, but shows like Legends and Supergirl and even Black Lightning, their panels might take a bit longer to hit the internet. But if you do want to keep up to date, the best place is, of course, Twitter. You'll get to see a lot of people that are actually at the panels and live tweeting the panels, taking pictures, maybe even taking some quick short videos. Now, I will be trying to retweet as many things as I can to find so everyone can watch them or keep up to date with what's going on there. So feel free to follow me on Twitter and then you can just jump on Twitter at the time of these panels and hopefully see something that's retweeted by me. And Twitter is also the best place to get the trailer first. Facebook does it sort of at the same time, but Facebook is just a mess to keep up, up with. Like Facebook is probably the worst social media side to be completely honest. So Twitter is the best place to get the trailer as soon as it is up. And I'll be sure to retweet that stuff because yeah, I'm pretty keen to watch them and uh, make some videos on them. But yeah, my Twitter will be linked in the description below. So just go there if you are want to check it out. But thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy the video, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like. Let me know in the comments section down below. As I said, what are you expecting most from the trailer? What are you looking forward to most from the panel in general? Do you think we'll get like a villain announcement for these, you know, Arrow and Legends, some new characters, who knows? I would be surprised if we got more characters for Arrow because Arrow's already got a ridiculous amount of characters. So really, I'm just maybe expecting a villain announcement. Let's hope for Richard Dragon. But yeah, just leave all of them in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.